Hey everyone, Vedette Mayor here. I am sitting in our greenhouse taking a breather from today. It is the most gorgeous day here in Texas and Austin. And the one thing that I am so, so grateful for is it's what, mid-September and typically it is still hot as hell's fire here um, in September. And for, and for some reason, I don't know why, um, we've got, we've had days of just gorgeous weather and I'm so, so grateful because, um, it coincides with a, a, a little bit of, of an uncomfortable, um, discomfort that I'm in, in, in my life. And I, I want to share that because I want to be vulnerable with the process of raising our consciousness, raising our frequency, um, and raising my own frequency and the ups and downs that, that sometimes is in that process. And the ups, I will say, greatly, greatly outnumber the, you know, the downs, so to speak. Um, but I think it's also just honest and authentic to share the downs as well. And right now I'm experiencing a, a down. So this year has been a huge shift for myself and my family, and it has nothing to do with COVID, to be quite frank. Um, I don't give COVID and the quarantines and all of the things going into, um, into our world or going on in the world. I don't give that power over my life. I just don't. We have managed to make the most of it and actually um, greatly improve our lives during this time. And we've made some pretty big choices as a family. And in March, if you don't know, I, I got remarried to my um, soulmate. And since March, we have made some pretty uh, intense decisions. We chose to um, go to California for three months uh, for, for all kinds of different reasons. And we lived there for three months and really explored what it is we wanted to create in, in this new life that, that we have. And part of that was we are creating two businesses from scratch. Um, for those of you who don't know, I, I did have a business called I Am Soul Mama. That was the crux of um, my my work. And really, it's, it's the work that evolved me to a point where I got to a point where I chose some major disruption a few years ago now and um, chose to leave a marriage that was no longer... Um, healthy, no longer um, serving either one of us. And that created a move to, to Texas, which I was not expecting. And, um, and, and Texas has been a good place for me. I've, I've met my soulmate here and yet it has felt very disruptive. It hasn't really fully aligned with my soul and, and that's working itself out. So we went to, to California to really figure out what, what does this look like? Where, where do we want to be? What do we want our life to look like? And in that process, there, um, there was a very important relationship in my life that had to, um, I guess, take a pause. Uh, I'm hoping it's a pause. I don't know. Uh, but it was no longer serving either one of us. And we, we had to sever that relationship for now, which was extremely painful, and it still is. And we came back to Texas, and nothing has seemed... Um, right. Uh, I think it's really, Texas has kind of shaken us loose as, as far as what is it, you know, as far as it not resonating with us. And so we are in the process of the discomfort of figuring out what does the next phase look like? What do we want to do? Where do we want to go? Where do, where's the next um, location for us? And in all of that as well, we both decided to go full time into our businesses and building two businesses from scratch is a very scary place to be as well. So there's a lot of disruption right now. On top of that, then we've had these like weird things happen. You know, our, our furniture out front got stolen and that was the place that we would convene and, and, um, we would, you know, sit out front and talk to neighbors as they walk by and, you know, and, and it was always, it was a great feeling place for us. And that's been taken from us. And although we, we understand that this is part of the process of up-leveling, disruption still is uncomfortable. And today it just 
it was just all consuming earlier. And I thought, you know, I need to go down. I'm going to go sit in here in this little jungle, tropical jungle that we have. And I'm going to journal and I have my trusty journal here that I've been just like dumping out all of my fears and all of my worries um, because I don't want to sit in them. For, for me, coming here into the present moment is the only place, the only place where I can step into that future self of myself who has maneuvered through all of this bullshit to be quite frank and she she is she's on the other side of it and that is how I connect with her and I allow her to pull me pull me forward what is my next step um you know where can you lead me to now kind of connect the pieces of where I am now to where she is this is really something that is important to, in my work and in my work with clients is helping them get into that quantum level, that quantum space, that quantum field where their future self exists, where it doesn't have to be, we have to figure it out. This will mess us up. It is coming from a place down here in our, in our soul, where our soul resides, where she resides and say, what, what is next? Where do I need to go? In order to have that connection be clear, I've got to get all, out all this frustration that I'm, I'm having with being in this disruption. And many people don't, they, they don't make a choice because they want to avoid this discomfort. This is the very part, the unknowing, the frustration, the, 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 like the, the fear will just grip many, many people so much so that they say, forget it. I'm just going to go back to what I know. And then they wonder why their lives feel monotonous, why they don't feel like they're full of meaning. And it's this very moment that I wanted to talk about because it does suck and it is uncomfortable. And the one thing I do know at this point from maneuvering, you know, many moments like this is that it is temporary and I have the tools to be able to pull me forward. And right now these tools are surrounding myself in nature, journaling out the, the bullshit so that I can get to that clarity of communication with my soul, with my inner wild and have her pull me through. So when you make a choice to change, to up level, to raise your consciousness, know that it is going to, to create some chaos for a minute. It's going to create disruption and that disruption is the very thing that raises your consciousness because when it is full on and it's sitting on top of you, the discomfort of the disruption, that is a time where you melt down and you simply don't do anything. You sit with it. And today I'm sitting with it because I know tomorrow it's going to be even better because I've sat with the discomfort and raised my consciousness just a little bit to then take the next step forward into the unknown. And tomorrow when I take that next step, that next step is illuminated. And then the next step is illuminated. You've heard this metaphor before and it's so true. So when you make a choice and disruption occurs, it is not the universe punishing you. It is not a test. It is not, it's not um, a sign that it's not right. It's exactly what is supposed to happen. It's the shift in energy. Whenever you have any kind of shift, there is a little chaos until it starts to calm itself down and takes you to that next level. So have faith in the disruption. I'm teaching right now what I have to remember myself. The disruption is the exact sign that you have made a choice that is going to change you, that's going to evolve you. And that's exactly what we are here to do. So choose the disruption. It's uncomfortable and yet it's temporary. And I encourage you to, to go there. I encourage you to go there. Thank you for listening. I would love to invite you to come on over to vedettemayor.com and check out some of the programs that I have to help souls just like you who may not fully comprehend yet what um, the disruption is all about, and yet you know that you are being called to change. Allow me to help you. I am an alchemist of transformation. I do it on myself every day, and I would like to invite you 
to see how I might be able to help you choose disruption and truly become the person you are here to become. Thanks for being here. Love to you all. Mwah. Bye.